I, I swear by this press kit. It's not bad if you don't understand it, it's not a problem. I watch the many films I don't understand the first time. Yeah, and that, yeah I mean, I, all the films of David Lynch, for instance, you know, and, and as he gets older, they get harder to understand. Um, or Tarkovsky or something like that. Not, you know, I'm not drawing comparisons, obviously, but... It, it, I, I don't think that's necessarily a criticism of a film that is harder harder to understand and you'd like you know and, and obviously the film you can't understand kill this until you've seen the whole film you might not understand it as you're watching it but by the end of it you get more of an idea of what's happened and if you you know there's lots of ways through the film and maybe you took a different way through it that it was an emotional journey rather than looking at the clues for the absolute understanding of the nuts and bolts of what it meant but you know, that's fine. You might go back and revisit it, have to watch it again, or you might just remember what happened in it. Or you might be really lazy and just look it up on the internet, which is perfectly fine. Obviously, there's elements of Wicker Man in, um, in Kill List, but I think it, the main thing that we took from that film was this idea of being in a, in a trap. You know, the, the ending is already preordained from the start. The rest of it, I think, is a bit more... You know, people have drawn comparisons for the, for the cults and stuff, but I just don't... I think it's so vague. I don't think it's... Uh, you know, the Wicker Man has its own particular kind of politics and the way that it works. It doesn't really doesn't really tie in if you if you look at it that dream used to scare me a lot obviously claustrophobia is t that scares me a lot but then as a uh, you know I've got a um, an eight-year-old son, and so the anything happening to my kid is very t is terrifying to me. So that's that a lot of that stuff went into the, and losing control as an adult and kind of being mental illness and you know you don't know you've how badly you've gone wrong you know that that's all part of it and um, and then just general those kind of fears that you have like the whole beginning of the film I think is like you're almost from the kid's perspective hearing your parents argue. And that memory of hearing your parents argue is the scary one because you it brings up all those memories of your, your parents splitting up potentially and leaving you alone. And, and that's almost more terrifying than the people in the woods with torches because it's a real fear, you know. It's a horror film. It's got, you know, unless it's horribly, you know, you've not done your job, I think.